Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. In today's video, I am going to do a makeup starter kit, but a high-end version. So a little bit ago, I did a video where I did a makeup starter kit, um, a drugstore edition. So all of those products were, you know, more affordable than these products. <laughs> these products certainly are not affordable. If you're looking for an affordable version of this idea, um, I will link that video up above so you can check that one out. Um, so anyways, these are the products. If I was just starting out in makeup, and even when I did start out in makeup, um, these are the products. Now these are from Sephora. So for me, Sephora is my preferred place to order from. Um, I also could order from Nordstrom. We do have a Nordstrom where I live. Um, I say order from because right now I'm just not really going into stores. Our stores are open here. Our malls are open, um, but mostly I just order online. Even pre-pandemic, my preference was online shopping. So <laughs> this, this is just the perfect excuse for me to not go into stores. Okay, so I've got my makeup bag here. And I did wear all of these products on my face today. So the look I have is using these products. Now, as I said in my drugstore version of this makeup starter kit idea, I've seen this idea going around for a long time on YouTube and I love it. I love this idea of somebody who's been using makeup for a while, who like I have a pretty, ex at this point, a pretty extensive makeup collection because I have an admitted makeup addiction um, but when I was first starting out which for me like I said in my previous video really wasn't that long ago I did wear makeup my whole life but I wore fairly basic what I would consider basic makeup so I did a foundation a concealer a mascara a bit of blush and maybe a lip gloss probably more like a lip balm type product um, I have two boys they're grown now but through their life we were busy you know raising the boys we were always on the go um, they were always involved in lots of activities lots of sports things like that and uh, so I needed something that was quick and easy so I just did those few products and I, I always did feel put together and pretty once the boys were grown and I had more time that's when I got into makeup and now of course like this doesn't take me five minutes any, anymore <laughs> and also I feel like as I've gotten older it just takes more time my skincare takes more time you know in my 20s my skincare was maybe washing my face and maybe a moisturizer uh, now that I'm in my 40s I, I'm 46 um, it's much more extensive than that but also because the boys are grown I have more time to dedicate to it so you know <laughs> so it's a little bit of give and take I think for those things um, so anyways, let's get into this. So I went through and I picked the products out of my makeup collection that are from Sephora, which these products all are, and that are, I feel like these are all easy to use, which was, you know, when I was starting out, that was very important, ease of use. Um, good quality. Now, of course, it's Sephora, so nothing in here is affordable. Um, it's all higher end products. But these are all products that I love, and for most of them, these are products I've had a long time. So tried and true products for me. So like I said in my drugstore version of this video, um, I didn't put a primer in there. Now, I didn't wear primer. I didn't wear primer like until fairly recently. I feel like primer is an easy step to skip. I will say this though, if you have oily skin, there are primers that can help oil control. For me, I have desert dry skin. And so I always go in with skincare first, right? Like I'm super hydrated before I even sit down to do my makeup. I'll link my AM skincare routine so you can see that. I do need to update those videos. Those are some of the first videos that I filmed kind of seven, eight months ago when I was just starting out. So yeah, I need to refilm them and, and I will do that. I'll get on that. Um, not that my routine has changed much. I just feel like maybe my, I hope, <laughs> my delivery is a little bit better. I'm certainly more comfortable now shooting videos than I was then. Anyways, I did include a primer in this one because the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base is my favorite all-time primer. And 
because I have dry skin. This is a beautiful, thick, moisturizing primer. It's this beautiful, thick cream. It just makes my makeup look better every time I use it. It does have quite a medicinal scent. Maybe it's like a lemony, medicine-y scent. I love it. I love that scent. Yeah, it's definitely, I'm picking up lemon for sure. Um, but it's it's very kind of herbally, medicine-y. This is expensive. I mean, I don't want to say that for every product I hold up, but this one, there's a couple that are even more expensive than just the basic ones I have in here. It's expensive. I love it. If you have dry skin and you are looking for a priming moisturizer, this is top product for me. Absolutely love it. So I went in with that today. I did also, when I was first starting out um, with Sephora products, so I just did drugstore most of my life, but when I started getting more into makeup, a girlfriend actually for Christmas bought me a beauty blender. Um, if you're looking for ease of use with makeup application, start with a, a sponge. I don't have a beauty blender. If you wanted to just go on Sephora and make it easy on yourself and order products, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a beauty blender. They are easy to use and wonderful sponges, and they do last quite a while. There's so many affordable sponges. My favorite sponge is from Shop Miss A. That's the name of the website. It's, I can't remember the name of the sponge, but they have lots of sponges on there. It's little pink one, looks just like the Beauty Blender, and it's like $1.50. I love those ones. The ones I'm using, the one I'm using right now, this is from e.l.f. I think these are about $4, $4 or $5. I love this sponge. So I no longer spend money on the Beauty Blender. Not that I don't spend money on makeup. <laughs> So I don't want you to think I'm, you know, have cut back, <laughs> but I don't spend twenty-five to thirty dollars on a sponge. I think I think on Sephora Canada, beauty blenders are twenty-five dollars, so I don't buy those anymore. Get yourself a sponge, whether you do the beauty blender or you do something more affordable. A sponge is the easiest way to put on your makeup when you are just starting out. It is very forgiving. I feel like with a brush, it's a little more fussy. Start with a, a sponge. And then for foundation for me, so when I first was buying makeup off Sephora, it was the It CC Cream was one of the first products I tried. This is the original and this is the illuminating. Today I did put on the illuminating and I am definitely illuminated. <laughs> so if you want just a regular, I would say, medium coverage, but you can sheer it out with the sponge or you can build it up. This is such a versatile foundation. Start with this one. It's a great product. It offers also a little bit of SPF. There is a 50 um, physical sunscreen in here or all mineral sunscreen. Um, I love this product. So for me starting out, I would use this one. I have recently started using the illuminating one. I do prefer this one, but again, it's probably because I don't love change. So I'm trying to use this one because I do love the illumination it gets. I feel like this is a little less coverage than this one. So anyways, both of these products, if you are looking for an easy to use foundation, start here. It's People love it. I love it. It's a great product. Now for concealer, a concealer that I don't hear people talk about and I absolutely love is this one from Clinique and it's the Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. I have it in the shade Very Fair 02. I will link all these products with prices and the shades I have used today down below, but this is a great everyday concealer. I will say this, I would suggest going in store to buy this because I do feel like it does really oxidize. So I think I have it in the lightest shade. Um, and then it does kind of oxidize on me a little bit. So, but I love it. I love the coverage it gives. Now I don't need a ton of coverage. I don't have a lot of darkness around my eyes, but you know, I do have discoloration. Like I have redness on my eyelids and stuff like that. Um, I do, I'm prone to eczema on my eyelids, so they do get pretty red. I love this. It's easy to use. You could tap it on with your finger. You can use a sponge. You could use a brush, but sponge is the way I go. Sponge is the easiest application, I think. So love this concealer just for everyday wear. It's hydrating. Again, I have very, very dry skin. So that's what these products 
I know they work for dry skin. And this is a great one. If you have more oily skin, some of these products, I, I just, I can't speak to that because I don't know because again, desert dry, so dry, crusty skin. Okay, for blush, a newer product to me, but one that I absolutely love. And I will say this, if you have dry skin and if you have more mature skin like me, go in with cream products. Cream products are your friend. So I go in with, right now I'm using all, all cream products. Today I did go in with powders just so you could see how they look, but on a day to day right now, I'm just going in with creams. And my favorite cream blush right now, I have a few, but this is the one I've had the longest. This is from Rare Beauty. I love the packaging. It's this super soft, creamy, creamy cream blush. It's the Nearly Mauve is the shade I have it in. It's easy to use. It just feels like powder. Oh, I just, I love this blush. Again, what I have it on today, but I did go over it with powders, so I'll talk about the powders I have on, but I love this product. Everything from Rare Beauty, I've really been enjoying, but I love that cream blush. And then for highlight, I went in with this. This is the mini. Also a suggestion, if you're just starting out and trying products wherever you can, pick up the minis. And in the drugstore, they don't tend to have minis, but for the higher end on Sephora, a lot of these beauty brands have mini products. Start there. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I have it in Too Fair. This is a beautiful, versatile product, and I love that. I love makeup that can be used for more than just one thing. So I used this today as a cream highlight, but you could, mix, you could use it as a primer underneath and it would give you a dewiness. You could mix this in your foundation just to give it a bit of a glow if you have a foundation that you feel like is a little too matte. Again, I tap it on here and blend it out with the sponge and I love it. This is the mini. When I'm done this, I will absolutely buy the full size version. So I didn't go in with a cream bronzer. What I did after my cream blush and highlight was I went in and I set and I set with this Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder, and I have it in one fair. So I used this to set my whole face. Um, this is my favorite powder. This is my favorite powder from Sephora. I have quite a few. This is the one I love the most. It gives you the softest airbrushed look. It's not heavy, it doesn't set into lines or wrinkles, it blurs my pores. So I normally, day to day, I don't go in and set my whole face with this only because it's expensive. Um, this compact is, I think, $55, so I try to just use it more sparingly because I just blow through these so quick. But if you're looking for ease of use, get yourself one powder, I used it just to quickly set and then when I was all done my makeup I went in with a puff and I did my t-zone to mattify so this this is my favorite powder hands down no exceptions love this and then for for blush bronzer and highlight I love a face palette I feel like a face palette is so versatile but you have to find one where there's products in it where at least most of the products work for you. My favorite is Hourglass. Hourglass makes my favorite powders. Like, well, between Hourglass and Charlotte Tilbury. I got this one at Christmas time. So they do release um, at the hol during the holidays, they release these palettes. This has an all over powder, a blush, a highlight, and a bronzer. All four of these shades work for me, and I absolutely love them. And the nice thing about these, so today what I did was I went in, I sat with the Charlotte Tilbury um, pressed powder, and then I went in and I used this one all over my face to give me a little bit of a sheen. Then I went in with the blush. Then I went in with the highlight. And then I bronzed, let me get it there. Those are the shades there. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. I have the palette from the year before. 
This one I like even more, I love it. And then what I did after I was done with my face makeup was I went in with this one all over the lid to set down my concealer. I took the bronzing shade in the crease and down on the lower lash line a little bit um, just to deepen up my eye a little bit. And then I went in with the highlight and I used that just on the movable part of my lid. How easy is this? So versatile for me. This is all I need. So if I, whenever we're able to travel again, <laughs> I'll just take this one and I'm good to go. I've got eyes, I've got total face, I've got everything I need here. Um, so that palette won't be available right now, but there's lots of options. You know, maybe go online, just you can, the nice thing about Sephora is that website is super friendly to use. So you can just search face palettes um, go, you know, even go in store and find face palettes that really have more than one product that you could use. Um, because I do love a face palette. I feel like that's your most, you know, easiest to use products when you can get them all in one. So another option for, um, eyeshadow, and I did talk about that in my other video, was starting out, I'm not a big eyeshadow wearer now, um, but what I do love is a little shadow stick. I have this one from Nude Sticks. It's in copper foil. These are so easy to use. I just spread it out on my, la on my movable part of my lid, and then I take a fluffy brush and I blend it out. It's a real easy way to get a pretty eyeshadow look without really knowing what you're doing, <laughs> which is me. So I love a shadow stick. So that's another option if you don't want to go in with your you know, bronzer, highlighter shades. And then for eyes, something else I've recently started doing is tight lining, which is when you go in and you line the inner part of your eyelid, so nothing on top. And so recently, I grabbed the Marc Jacobs. This is a highliner, I think it's called the highliner eyeliner, um, and I have it in the shade Irony. So I'll link this down below. These are expensive, but if you want, now this is certainly, I don't feel like beginner friendly. Not that it's hard, but I just recently started doing this and I've been wearing makeup for, you know, doing this full face of makeup for a while now. So this is pretty new me, for me to be doing this, um, but I'm loving the effect. So if you're looking for something to do that with, this is a great product. It does say waterproof and I don't get any transfer with it at all. Okay, for brows, a couple of suggestions. from. So I think all of these, oh, three of these are from Benefit. Benefit makes great brow products. Now, I didn't start doing my eyebrows until fairly recently. Um, and it, the only reason I started doing them was because I've, as I'm getting older, I'm getting sparseness. So I have lots of brow hair, but I've got spots where it's just, it stopped growing. And then also I'm getting grays in my brows and the gray hair, it's thicker and it's coarser and it kind of just grows straight out. So I need something to give me a bit more control. So what I do first is I go in and I fill in where I'm missing brow hair. A couple of options for that that I think are easy to do. Um, the first one is this Cabrow. Now this is the mini. If you're gonna buy this product, buy the mini. I know it looks super small, but I've had this product for years and there is still an absolute ton of product in there. It hasn't dried out. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna go through this. This is in the shade number five. And sorry, this is kind of gungy, but it comes with this little brush. You pick up a bit of the pomade and you just run it through the brows. It is so easy. I love this for how easy it is. And then what I do after is I take a spoolie and I run the spoolie through just to even it out. And then I would go in with, now this, depending on how much depth or how much darkness you want to your brows. I've had this product so long, all the writing is <laughs> worn off, but this is a benefit product and I will link it below. And it's their tinted brow gel. And it comes with a little brush like that. So this is what I used today, I went through. Now if you don't want them to be that deep and that dark, go in with a clearer brow gel. My favorite is this one from Anastasia and it's just the clear brow gel. Yeah. And if you want hold, this will give it to you. This is a great 
hold product. So depending on what I'm wanting that day, if I want something a little lighter, I'll go in with the clear. Today I wanted a little bit more of a bold brow, so I went in with this one. Another one that's great from Benefit is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I used these for years. They also have a micro um, pencil version of this, which that's what I prefer now. I don't have one because I'm just using other products right now, but it's a great product. Again, I use the shade 5 and on the one end it has a spoolie. It actually has a pretty decently sized spoolie. And then on the other end, it has a fairly thick um, pencil. Let me see if I can get a good view on that. Okay, and then for setting sprays, probably my favorite one right now at Sephora is the Charlotte Tilbury, um, I think it's airbrush setting spray. I'll, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen so you can see, but I bought the mini and I've used it up. I will definitely repurchase. Um, there's the sale coming up, which I did my Sephora wish list. Um, I'll, again, I'll link that video, but on there I want to try. There's one from Anastasia. It's the pineapple scented one. I want to try that one. And then I had a lovely lady comment on one of my videos saying how much she loves the Rare Beauty one and how great it is for dry skin. So now I'm kind of waffle. I've got both those sitting in my cart now. So <laughs> we'll see. Um, but one that I am loving that I uh, bought off of the BoxyCharm pop-up sale is this one from Glow Recipe. It's the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I really love this. If you have dry skin, this really gives a nice dewiness and helps my makeup just melt into the skin. So this is fairly new to me. I've only been using it a couple weeks, but I'm loving it. Um, but probably from Sephora, the one that I've repurchased the most is this Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe. If you are not familiar with this product and you are looking for a setting spray, pick this up. First of all, it's as far as Sephora price products go, these are I think $20, so they're not terribly expensive. I'm just going to show you. It's a continuous mist. You could just hold this and spray for days. I love it. I love the scent. I love how it makes my skin feel, how it makes my makeup look, all of those things. So love this, and this would be my most repurchased setting spray from Sephora. Okay, so typically what I do is when I'm done my setting sprays, I let them sit for a few minutes, and then I go in with a puff. This one is dirty, but this is the one I've had for, this is from Beauty Blender. If you're looking for a puff, I love this puff, and this is a product that I use every single day. It came in a box that, um, a Christmas gift that my son bought me, not last Christmas, I think, but the Christmas before. So I've had it for a good while. I wash it every week, and look how well it has lasted. And then normally, what I do is I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury powder, and I just, do like this on my t-zone just to set this down so it's not as shiny so this is kind of expensive for what it is but I love this product and it's really held up and lasted and when this one finally breaks down and I'm done with it I will absolutely repurchase one of those so so a product that I didn't include actually that I, I'll just quickly mention here for mascara I don't use high-end mascaras I always go in with this L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Combo. So I use the primer and then I go in with the mascara. I think it's black is black. This for me is the same as the Beauty Blender sponge. I cannot spend money on mascaras because for me, this is my dream combo. I have it on today. It gives me long, thick, full lashes. Love that. Been using it for as many years as it's been out and before that I just used the L'Oreal Voluminous Voluminous Mascara. If you are looking for a high-end mascara, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara is what I would say is most comparable to the Lash Paradise one. I have used it over the years, um, mostly in the sample size. I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever actually purchased a full size, but I've definitely used it in the sample size. It's a great mascara. If you want to just for ease order off the Sephora website, that would be my recommendation for that. Okay, for lips. So my favorite um, product right now for lips is a tinted balm. That's what I'm using the most because 
I'm just not wearing lipsticks. You know, I'm not really going out anywhere for one. Also, my lips are so dry, just coming out of winter. My favorite lip, lip balmy type product from Sephora right now is the Sequench Lip Rescue Balm from Tarte. This is in the shade Wish. I did have another one that I've used up completely. They came in a duo for Christmas, like a duo set at Christmas time. Where can I show you this? It has a very slight tint, but this is what I have on my lips today. These are balmy and creamy. They have a really nice minty scent to them. I love these. This, this is one of my top lip products off of Sephora and probably one of my most repurchased. Also one of my favorite glosses. So I have two. Um, Buxom makes beautiful lip glosses. They have one in a the shade Samantha. It's probably my most repurchased, but I don't have one right now. I haven't repurchased one and I used the one I had up. The Gloss Bombs by Fenty. This is what I have on my lips today. This is in the shade Diamond Milk. Um, the shade Fussy is probably my favorite, but I don't have one of those right now. This gives a beautiful frosted look to the lips. These are wonderful. Like if you are looking for a lip balm, they come in a ton of shades. I have this one. I have these three minis from a Christmas set. It's a great product. I love it. I use them all the time. If you're looking for a lipstick, like a traditional bullet lipstick, Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. Oh my goodness, this product is for so popular and for good reason. These are soft and comfortable. The shade is very flattering on me. Um, I love that lipstick, love those products. So, so there you have it. If I was going in, if I had no makeup, I was starting from scratch and I was going to Sephora, these are the products that I would pick up that work for me. Again, I have mature skin, I have dry skin. For me, these are the products that really work. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate that. If you enjoyed it, if you would give it a thumbs up, that would be amazing. And if you would subscribe, that would be also amazing. So thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.